up? It's PDX Guitar Freak, and in this video I'm going to show you my newest guitar. This is an Ibanez J Custom, and the full model name is RG30 JC LTD, which all means something. Um, RG30 because it commemorates the 30th anniversary of the debut of Ibanez's um, iconic RG series of guitars back in 1987. So 2017 was that 30th anniversary, which was when this guitar was made um, last year. And um, JC, because again, it is an Ibanez J Custom, as indicated on the headstock and the certificate that I got. Uh, if you're not familiar with the J Customs, uh, basically it's Ibanez's um, highest line of guitars, non-signature guitars, made in Japan by their best luthiers um, with the finest materials. Uh, and then LTD, because it's considered a limited run, even more limited than your typical J Custom. Uh, and I couldn't, based on my research, I couldn't find how many were, were built. Um, although my understanding is that only 25 were intended for sale here in the US market. Um, you can find some, you can find them still. I, in fact, as of this morning when I was recording this, uh, I saw two for sale in the US, two retailers were selling them. I couldn't remember. You can just Google search it and then click on shopping and you'll find them. Uh, and then eBay, there's five sellers in Japan that will uh, import them uh, directly to you, uh, but you're going to pay more if you try to get it from someone in Japan, a lot more. Uh, so I want to go through the specs here in just a minute, but I, I want to tell you the story behind the purchase. Originally, I, I, this was not the guitar I was going to purchase. I didn't know I was going to find one of these. My original intent was to buy a new RG Prestige, um, or Ibanez Prestige, which is some of you, many of you know is the uh, next level down from the J Custom, also made in Japan, great, really fine instruments. And there was a 2018 with a Sapelli Burl top, which looked really, really cool. And I actually ordered it from Guitar Center. And then the arrival date uh, from the manufacturer pushed from three weeks to four weeks to one month to two months. And I said, hmm, I'm going to look around a little more. And, um, and then just by chance, I, I, there was another J Custom. I'm going to show you a picture of it right now with a Myrtle top. And that one looked really exotic. And I, I'm a sucker for... A, uh, a nice top with a natural finish, and I ordered that guitar from American Musical Supply, and it was a, it was a week or two out, and for some communication error, they canceled my order, and, and that pushed me back in the queue line, and I was pissed, so I said, you know, screw you, I'm going to go somewhere else, and then I just happened to find this one, stumbled across it, it was being sold by um, Drum City Guitar Land, which is a, a shop just outside or in Denver. And uh, I was like, whoa, look at that top. And, you know, this guitar is not really for everybody. It's very blingy. It just screams, look at me. <laughs> it's all about me, me, me. Please look at me. I am so pretty, lovely, want me. <laughs> but uh, I, I just had to have it. I don't, I don't care if some people think it's excessive. I really, I really like it. The top, this is a uh, four millimeter quilted uh, maple top. It's considered a 5A top. 5A. I don't know what you call that. Pente, quinte, just let's just say 5A top and a 5A back. Can you believe that? Who's going to see that? No one's going to see that, but it's kind of cool. I know it's there. 30th anniversary plate. And then, you know, the body is uh, uh, African mahogany. Let's see, then we've got the pickups. So we've got um, a nice. Uh, Complimentary set of pickups here, DiMarzio's. Very popular combination. We've got the Tone Zone in the bridge, which I have on an older guitar. Um, True Velvet in the middle and the Air Norton in the neck. Very, very common, reliable, solid combination of pickups. So it's very tonally versatile. <laughs> And the neck sounds really smooth. Um, and then, you know, for the for the, the single coil and the and the split in between sounds that are capable, I only use those for you know kind of kind of clean tones. Bit of tune there. Maybe it's too much chorus. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, it's got uh, the five-way selector, kind of the classic five-way selector setup. So one is the bridge, two is the intercoil of the bridge in the middle, three is the middle, four is the intercoil of the neck in the middle, and then five is the neck. So a pretty classic five-way selector setup. Um, and then we've got the gold hardware, including the, uh, it's got the Edge Low Pro, which is on all the J Customs Low Pro, well, the J Customs that have a, a floating trim. Um, low profile, very low, so it's really nice, doesn't really get in the way of anything. Um, what else on the body? And you can see that where the jack is, it comes in at this weird angle, which can kind of, when you're sitting down, sometimes you end up bumping it a little bit, but it's not that bad. It's made, I guess, for wireless or for whatever. Just putting it in your in your your thing here, your, so it doesn't get you don't lose it. Um, blah, 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 blah. So also, uh, I didn't put them on yet, but it came with locking uh, locking lock, uh, strap locks. So I need to put those on. Also comes with a very nice little um, tool here that's got lots of different hex wrenches and stuff. Very cool. I think I think the Prestige has come with those too, as far as I understand. Um, what else? Um, so we've got the neck. It's the five-piece Super Wizard uh, maple and walnut neck, um, titanium, re titanium reinforced, and then we've got um, the velvet touch. It's so smooth. This is like butter. This neck, um, rosewood fingerboard with the abalone and pearl tree of life. Very cool. Love that. Um, and then jumbo stainless steel frets. Stainless steel, man. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, and with the um, with the J Custom Fret Edge treatment, it's hot. this neck is just like butter, man. It just feel like it's melting in your hands. And then the headstock, uh, this is actually not a 5A. It's a 3A quilted top on the headstock, um, not on the back. Gold hardware. You can see the J Custom logo. All right, that was my video on my latest guitar, the Ibanez J Custom 30th Anniversary RG. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll answer them as time allows. Till next time. Rock on.